What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. This is uh, week two Oracle reading for October 2022 for the sign of Capricorn. This could resonate for uh, any aspects of Caps. You could have Caps in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, Moon, 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 your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, thanks for all the donations and all the love support to the channel. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. There's still some slots open if you are interested. There's two different offerings. And I'm going to start offering a new offering. I'm going to make a separate video probably today when I uh, get done with uh, the Oracle card readings for the signs. And let you guys know what it is. Okay. Um, this is for a sign of caps. I love, I love you guys. Just saying. All right. So I received two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy Capricorn for week two of October of 2022. And time and energy is fluid. So, and don't be forcing any messages. Don't fit because it's free general collective reading. Okay. So one message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. Okay. But the first channel message I received was, um, medication adjustment was the first one i heard and the second one i heard was big events coming soon so um some positive some negative so you plug the situation or situation story messages in how they resonate some kind of medication adjustment coming uh sounds like that could have already happened or um upcoming and that could be for you or somebody you're, you're connected to some kind of medication adjustment um i'm presuming prescribed medication and not illicit illegal drugs I'm presuming. Um, the second one, big events coming soon. So I think for you or somebody you're connected to, Capricorn, and some of these are positive, some of them are negative. So, you know, it's like, to me, it's like positive uh, tower moments and negative tower moments. For some of you guys, it could be regarding directly you or somebody you're connected to or indirectly you or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in, how it resonates, Capricorn, okay? Spirit messages you have for Sonic Caps. Third perch, waiting for news, package, letter, bear, danger, especially in money matters, rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. All right, let me get some animal spirit cards. Let me show them to y'all real quick, and then I'm going to move them up. If you think anyone else would like my channel, Capricorn, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. I'm a single mom with two kids. It helps support a single mama in uh, one of her income streams. Um, I appreciate it so much. Spirit messages you have beside Capricorn. Something is about to be forced through many series of chain events. For some, you're not going to want this to happen. For some, you're going to help force it. Something is about to be forced through many series of chain events. For some, you're not going to want the forceful energy. For some, you're going to help force it. So force, meaning it's going to happen whether a person, people, place, or situation wants it to happen, happen anyways. For some, you're going to help force it. For some, um... You're not going to want it to happen. So you plug it in. How it resonates. For some of you dealing with a water sign or another fire sign. And I'm sorry. Your earth. Water sign or fire sign. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sag. And there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, Moon, 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 Jupiter, Charts. If you are Capricorn. Okay. An Aquarius who was once working behind the scenes to sabotage a situation regarding you, 
soon. They're about to help fix it. Okay, so Aquarius energy, if this resonates with you, there whoever this is for, whatever cost this is for, some kind of Aquarius energy. Um, it, I feel it could be masculine or female Aquarius, and they could have Aquarius in any aspects of their charts, but they were working secretly behind the scenes to sabotage a situation regarding you, Capricorn. Um, but I heard soon they're about to help fix it. Um, so maybe I'm assuming they realized um, that it was wrong. Or they're about to realize. Joy, number 22, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 22, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other next number. Joy, I think um, this Aquarius about to help make a situation right that they secretly behind the scenes uh, was sabotaging uh, regarding you. I think they realized they were wrong, Capricorn, is what I feel. But um, you plug it in, how it resonates. I think they were very arrogant and boastful in the past, and they just thought they could do whatever the crap they wanted to do, um, secretly behind the scenes to whoever. But I I didn't hear any of this, but intuitively I feel they've got a huge-ass wake-up call, and they've realized it was wrong or it's negatively affected them in some shape, form, or fashion. So that's why they're about to make it right. But only um, this Aquarius knows their situation only you know your situation not anybody else but i think it's going to make you happy it's going to make you very happy and for one you're not going to understand it at first but you will be very happy at the end okay so for one of you guys it is going to make you very happy there's two of you and for one so intuitively you knew it was wrong and that's why it's going to make you happy it's what i'm feeling the other one, I heard you're not going to understand it at first, but it sounds like once it occurs, it will make you happy. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates, uh, Capricorn. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Starfish. A hurricane is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. In a beach, and a beach town. A hurricane, a beach, and a beach town is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. So you have to plug the uh, situations in how they resonate. Okay, so I was doing a le uh, reading on Hashtag Leo Gang last night, and I was channel message i was picking up a uh, hurricane was coming soon a really big hurricane not no little baby hurricane a very substantial hurricane so i heard a hurricane is about to become significant in one of you guys's life so i think it's that hurricane i was picking up in hashtag leo gangs reading for one of you guys uh, i was picking it up very strong like throughout the whole reading it was like a 40 minute reading um for one it hasn't happened yet, but but apparently, and I looked up the information on hurricane season, and we are in the middle of hurricane season. Um, I didn't know that, but I looked up the information when I got the channeling about the hurricane to figure out if we were even in hurricane season, but we are, because I live in Tornado Valley, not Hurricane Alley. So I looked it up, but we are. So a hurricane is about to become significant to one of you guys. So I feel for one, you could live in a beach town or... Um, or coastline area, or you know somebody that lives in a beach town or coastline area, hurricane is about to become significant and a beach town and a beach. So I think one of you guys is about to visit the beach or you did visit the beach or somebody you're connected to is about to visit the beach and then a beach town. Maybe you're going to visit a beach town or you live in a beach town or somebody you're connected to lives in a beach town or is going to visit a beach town. You plug it in how it resonates. I think the beach makes some of you guys happy or somebody you're connected to happy. Or going to the beach, or the beach, or um, or something of that nature. You plug it in, how it resonates. Capricorn. Fire ant. There's about to be a very angry pedophile, one, they're in your family, 
One, they're not in your family. They're about to be exposed and they're about to be incriminated for their crimes. It's going to make one of you very happy. For one, you're going to be shocked. Okay, so heavy pedophile energy. If that resonates and applies for you, for one of you guys, the pedophile's in your family. For one, they're not. Um, but I heard they're about to be exposed and they're about to be incriminated. So I think like criminal charge or charges or jail time or some kind of legal matters regarding crime or crimes regarding pedophilia. Uh, for some, it could be connected to some kind of pedophile ring. I've been picking up a pedophile ring in here very strong. That has basically been busted up, but it hasn't completely been busted up yet. It could be that pedophile ring or some other kind of pedophile ring, but I strongly feel it might be regarding a pedophile ring for some. For some, it might not be. Some just maybe individual pedophilia. I'm not sure. But um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But for one of you guys, the pedophile is in your family. So that could be extended or immediate. For some, the pedophile is not in your family. Um, there's two pedophiles in here at least. Um, but they are about to be exposed. They're about to be charged. Uh, I heard incriminated. So I think they're about to be arrested and charged with charger charges. And um, I heard for some, it's going to make you very happy. For some, it is going to um, shock you. So joy, happiness, happy, happy, joy, joy. And for some, it's going to uh, shock you. But I think this is the energy of the pedophile. Um, what, and, you know, it could be masculine or femme pedophile. Women can be pedophiles too, unfortunately. Um, so it could be a man or a woman pedophile, whether it's in your family or not in your family. They're going to be very angry. They're about to be exposed and incriminated, basically. Very angry energy um, of the pedophiles. But they were trying to hide the abuse of children. And, um, you know, that's not okay. That's not okay. And we live in 2022, not 182022. I mean, not 1822. Um, it, shouldn't, it, should, it shouldn't happen. And that's just the truth. Bird Purge, waiting for news package letter. A motorcycle gang has been stalking a particular Capricorn. <clears throat> for some, your family is behind this. Through many series of time events, you're about to transmute the energy on them, about to take video and photos, and you're about to take it to the police. Holy crap, Capricorn. Oh, <laughs> gum. Okay, so um, a motorcycle gang is stalking at least one of you guys. Um, whoever this is for, I think you know the motorcycle gang is, is stalking you. I feel like gang stalking you. Um, I heard for some, your family is behind this. For some, they're not. So, well, it's at least two of you. For one, your family is behind the motorcycle gang stalking you. So, I feel for some, you might know your family is behind this. I feel for some, your family might be part of the motorcycle gang or no members in the motorcycle gang or be a part of a motorcycle gang for some. Intuitively, I feel that. Because there's a reason your family is behind, for one of you, there's a reason your family is behind the motorcycle gang gang stalking you. Uh, for one, your family's not behind it. So you plug it in how it resonates. But in both of those situations, I heard you're going to transmute the energy on them. So transmutation energy is basically turning it around and um, in a positive manner for you and making it work better for you, no matter what's going on in your situation. So in this aspect, it's gang stalking of motorcycle gang, gang stalking you basically. So the way it sounds like you're about to transmute it in both of these situations, whether your family's involved or not involved, is basically taking photos and videos of the gang stalking of the motorcycle gang, gang stalking you, and taking it to the police. Kudos to you. Um, Absolutely, I think in this aspect, the arrogant, boastful person you should not cross is the motorcycle gang energy, but you're about to transmute the energy positively with the photos or the videos and take it to the police, and it's going to make you very happy. Um, and I think it's going to make these these gang stalker, motorcycle gang, gang stalkers very upset when you turn the energy around on them. Um, whoever y'all are over here. I feel like you can be masculine or feminine. It's at least two of you because one of you guys, your family's behind it. One, they're not. I don't know, man. That, that Yikes. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> That's scary. Bird purge waiting for news package or letter.
Capricorn is waiting on communication from a lawyer, a light side lawyer. One of you had to switch lawyers. And it's going to end up being the best thing that ever happened to you. Okay, so one of you guys is dealing, well, at least two of you is dealing with a lawyer. Um, one of you guys is waiting on information, news from a lawyer. Um, and one, you had to switch lawyers. Um, so you had, you lawyered up, but you switched lawyers. Um, and I heard that's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. So I think intuitive spike happened there, or they dropped you, however that resonates. And you went to another lawyer, but this lawyer or lawyer's group, I heard lawyer, but it might be a lawyer's group. I heard it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you for situation two. Situation one, you're waiting on information from this lawyer. So news, information, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're waiting on news in this aspect from the lawyer. In this aspect, you switch lawyers, whether you had to switch or you wanted to switch. But that, I heard, is going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Um, I think in um, situation two, the first one's the light side lawyer. Second one, I think there was something negative there. Either they dropped you or you dropped them. Um, but that's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. I think the first situation where they dropped you or you dropped them, they were arrogant, boastful person, the lawyer or whoever. It didn't work out, I'll tell you that. But the second one, I heard, is going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. That's going to cause joy there, happiness. Um, is what I feel. So waiting on news from the lawyer. A feminine, younger Capricorn, adult, was victim of a Sagittarius, very immature Sagittarius masculine implanting hidden voyeur cameras and using dating sites to lure women in to get sex videos from them. There are many series of chain of events. You're about to find out you were victim of this and other women are about to find out they were victim of this. Class action lawsuit. And a particular Leo feminine is about to find out she was victim of this too. Class action lawsuit. Holy crap. Okay, so if this resonates for you, you're a younger Capricorn uh, femme, and there's a significant Leo femme in there too. Um, Y'all were victim of, I was picking him up last night too. Um, there's some sad masculine out there that uses dating apps. He's very immature. I didn't hear an age on him or age range. But I think he's attractive enough to lure women in for sex. So I think he has to be at least semi-attractive or very attractive. Um, and he's very confident in what he does because he's been doing it for years, according to the reading last night. But his ass is about to get caught. And I picked that up last night, too. And I'm picking it up tonight. One of you guys is one of his victims. I heard you're a younger Capricorn uh, femme. So I feel you're 35, 34 or below. You can have caps any aspects of your charts. And you are adult. And thank God for that. And there's a significant Leo feminine that you may know, or she might have been of your past, Cap, younger Caps femme that was a victim of his too. It sounds like in the past. But anyway, so according to the channelings last night, he was basically, he lures these women in through these dating sites, dating apps to take them out on dates. And he treats them real nice, take them out on dates. But what the women don't know is when he lures them back to their house or his house or wherever he's going to have sex with them, he implants, or a hotel, or what have you, what have you, they Im, he implants the hidden camera in the space so the women don't know. He has sex with them, films the videos, the sex videos, and then he distributes them out to his community, his bro pals, his buddy pals, his friends, immature people that want to see all these sex videos, and he makes a shit ton of money off of it. But according to the channeling last night, I heard Undercover through many series of chain events was about to pick up. Um, he Undercover was about to get a hold of the sex video or videos and about to realize he's like this serial um, scammer. He's a serial sex scammer, basically. Um, and he uses his dating site to do this shit and make a shit ton of money. So he's basically about to get exposed by this Undercover. But I think it's the same person is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Capricorn, younger Capricorn fam. Um, from last night's reading, and I'm just being for real, um, whoever you are, um, I heard there's gonna be a class action lawsuit regarding this, 
So I heard you're about to find out you are part of this soon. So this in this aspect, this younger side's masculine, dating up, uh, sex fetish, making all this money off these voyeur, illegal voyeur camera videos where both people do not are not consenting and have consent or authorization to um, they don't, I mean, the other party don't even know they're part of a sex video. So there's no percent or authorization between both individuals because he takes all the money. He's a huge ass con. Um, he is the arrogant, boastful person here because he likes to secretly make money off women. And he uses dating sites and dating apps to do it. He's a con, basically. But you are one of his victims. If this resonates for you, that's a confirmation of my phone. You are one of his victims. If this resonates for you and you're about to find out this happened to you and a leo feminine is about to find out this happened to her i think you know this leo fem or she's a leo fem in your past younger caps fem and i heard there's about to be a class action lawsuit so i think you and this leo fem older or younger leo fem is about to be a part of uh, the class action lawsuit when you get the news so waiting for news i think an investigator is going to contact you or a detective or a fed or a police officer or something of that nature is what i'm feeling or whoever contacts you. For some, it could be a lawyer contacting you. I don't know who's going to contact you regarding all this. But I heard there will be a lawsuit, a class action out of this. I think towards his ass. He was the arrogant, boastful person that went around making all this money off women victims off of dating sites. That is, is evil genius smart, but it's terrible. And that's just the truth. I think he's going to be very angry. Your side energy is going to be very angry. He's a Sag masculine, and I feel he's very attractive, or he thinks he's very attractive. But he definitely has enough confidence to do this, and apparently he's been doing it for years. Danger, especially in money matters. A uh, Capricorn adult, single adult, is having trouble managing her finances, Capricorn feminine. And a single adult, Capricorn masculine. You need to set out a budget and a plan. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So two single adult caps energies. One, you're a single, uh, I feel in legally single. Legally single adult caps femme. Legally single adult caps masculine. So I feel you could be 18 or 18 plus. Have caps in any aspects of your charts. And I feel you're legally single. But I heard you're having trouble managing your finances, basically. You're having trouble managing your money. I feel for some you could be in debt or you have a low credit score. Or um, you've made bad financial planning decisions or something of that nature. But however that resonates, I heard um, it'd be smart to set a budget, basically. Be smart to, like a brat, like, if you have access to a computer or a personal computer or what have you, what have you, you take the advice, we'll leave it. Um, set you up a Word document, like on a graph, and then input all your bills, all your, um, which, what you make, and then what you have left over. Um, they, they teach that in a class, uh, like a budgeting class in high school for some areas, um, but it's, I, I took that class in high school. Of course, I'm 39. It's been a long time, but it really helped me. Um, and because I was out on my own at 18. So for whoever, it, you, of course, you can take the advice or leave it. But that's what I would do. That's what I would do if I was having that much trouble. Um, of course, you can take the advice or leave it. But you're legally single. You're an adult. Caps masculine or caps femme. I heard it'd be smart to manage your money better. Um, I would do the graph. I would do the graph, input all your bills, input what you're bringing in every month, every week, every two weeks, however you get paid. And that way you can see with your own eyeballs how much money you have to spend on eats, on food, on activities, on the extra stuff. That way you can get all your bills paid, get all your stuff done. Maybe for some it'll help your credit score go up. I feel for some you might have a low credit score because of this. Um, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. But, um, of course, you can take that advice or leave it, okay? A Capricorn is about to get a uh, phone call from an investigator regarding an illegal business of the past. A Capricorn is about to get a phone call regarding uh, with an investigator regarding an illegal business of the past. 
So I think somebody might be having money problems because of um, some kind of illegal business of the past. That's what I feel. Um, it doesn't have to be you. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. Only you know if you were involved with an illegal business of the past. If you were for low vibrational caps, it might be just maybe one or two of you. For the rest of my collective, I don't feel you were. I feel you might know the person that was involved with the illegal business of the past. But I think whoever was involved with this illegal business in the past, I think they're having money issues now, whether it was you or somebody you're connected to. Um, and I think they were arrogant and boastful, thinking they could um, just go off, run it off the plug, run it on the plug, well, however people say that shit, and um, get, keep getting away with this illegal business and keep getting away with this illegal business, whatever the hell it was, whatever the hell it was. Um, it could be involving foyer cameras. It could be involving that size masculine and the scam artist with um, these sex videos with no consider authorization with the female victims. It could be drugs. It could be um, anything that's illegal. Uh, piracy, what have you, what have you. But one of you guys is about to get a phone call from an investigator soon regarding some kind of illegal business. Um, I think you're going to help out this um, situation. Um, or for some, you could be the, you could have been the heads of the illegal business. Only, you know, your situation and story, not anybody else, but I don't think the investigator is going to play around. I think this is their energy. I don't think you're going to want to cross them. You're definitely not going to want to lie. They're going to know before they call you. Oh shit. I heard you're definitely not going to want to lie. They're going to, they're going to know before they call you. So it sounds like it's going to be a phone call and it, the spiritual download in that is it wouldn't be smart to lie. So, of course, you have free will to lie if you want, but I heard it wouldn't be smart to lie, okay? You plug it in how it resonates. But I feel for some, you're going to help it out. You're going to help out the uh, information on the illegal business, but you plug it in how it resonates. Joy. A Capricorn is really relieving memories of the past. Sweet, beautiful memories of the past. They were clouded. They were clouded recently, but they remember now. And through many series of chain of events, they're about to do something somebody doesn't want them to do, but they're about to do it because they know it's the right thing to do. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates, Capricorn. So one of you guys is reliving sweet memories of the past. Um, they're nice memories, they're good memories, they're memories you enjoy, you like, what have you, what have you. Whoever you are, Capricorn, how that resonates. Um, it's good memories. Whatever this is and how this applies. I'm sorry, y'all. I was just trying to figure out what was going on. Um, but how that resonates, somebody doesn't want you to do it. These reliving all these memories of the past is making you reminisce in a positive way. Now it could be about anybody. It could about, about anybody, whoever you're having these sweet, reminiscent memories of the past about, and how that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, how that applies, but somebody doesn't want you to do something, I think regarding this person or people or the memories of the past, if this resonates and applies, but I heard you're going to do it anyways, uh, it sounds like you're going to create shocking a series of chain of events, I feel for some you might reach out to these people that you're reliving the sweet memories of the past about, or communicate with them if somebody's trying to isolate you and keep you away from the people of the sweet memories of the past. Uh, reach out with communication or or something. But it sounds like you're about to create the shocking series of chain events regarding the sweet memories of the past. Um, but there's at least one person in the universe that doesn't want you to do it, I'll tell you that. The arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. For some, it's your aunt that doesn't want you to do it. For some, it's your father. For some, it's your stepmother, but you're about to do it anyways. For some, it's a co-worker. For some, it's someone you went to school with. <clears throat> Holy crap. Okay, for some, it's your mother, stepmother. For some, it's a stepmonster. For some, it's a father. I think a biological foster. For some, it is a um, an aunt. For some, it is a co-worker, and for some, it's uh, somebody you went to school with, and that could be college, technical school, middle, high, whatever, whatever. Um, but I heard you're going to do it anyways. So that's these people in this aspect is what I'm feeling. Um, they don't want you to do it. I think they're going to come across maybe um, 
hopefully they don't come across threatening or um or abusive to you. Um, but I heard you're gonna it sounds like you're gonna stand up to them anyway. You're gonna transmute the energy and you're gonna stand up anyways and you're gonna do it. And it's gonna make you very happy. It's going to make you very happy. You know what happened in the past was wrong, uh, was wrong. You're about to stand up for what's right. Okay, I heard it's gonna make you very happy. You know what happened in the past was wrong, and you're about to stand up for what's right. So that's confirmation if that resonates for you. Um, it's gonna make you happy. And you know, I feel everybody should um seek their happiness. Whatever happiness that is and how that applies, I feel everybody should seek out their happiness. Um, as long as they're not hurting or harming person, people, place, or situation. And I'm being serious about that. I'm serious. All right. I love you guys. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else will like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I love you guys so much. And namaste.